Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a dual booter running both Windows and Linux on the same machine, you're going to want to hear this. Microsoft's mid-August update has caused quite a stir, and it's not good news for those of us who love our Linux distributions. So, what's going on? Well, let's dive into the details. So, just to set the scene, Microsoft recently rolled out a series of security updates for Windows 10 and 11. One of these updates was supposed to fix a security vulnerability related to Grub2, the bootloader used by most Linux distributions. This vulnerability allowed Secure Boot to be bypassed, and naturally, Microsoft needed to patch it. Sounds reasonable, right? But here's where things go off the rails. Before releasing the update, Microsoft assured users that it wouldn't apply to systems with an active dual boot setup. The idea was that if you had both Windows and Linux installed, the update wouldn't interfere. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Instead, this update, known as SBAT, ended up being applied to a ton of systems that shouldn't have received it. The result? A lot of dual boot users suddenly found themselves unable to boot into Linux at all. And instead of seeing your favorite distro's boot screen, users are greeted with a scary security error message. Naturally, this has sparked outrage across the Linux community. Forums, social media, and support channels are buzzing with frustrated users looking for solutions. The error message they're seeing reads, verifying shim spat data failed, security policy violation, and something has gone seriously wrong. SATI self-check failed, security policy violation. Not exactly what you want to see when you're just trying to get some work done. Now, I want to give a bit of context here. This isn't some grand conspiracy by Microsoft to wipe Linux off the face of the earth. The update was genuinely intended to fix a security issue, but in their haste, they botched the detection process, and that's why so many dual boot systems got hit. Microsoft has acknowledged the mistake and is working with their Linux partners to fix the issue. They've even shared a workaround for those who've been affected, which you can follow to get your system back up and running. But until a proper fix is in place, I strongly recommend not installing this update if you're running both Windows and Linux. For those who might be thinking, this is why you shouldn't dual boot. Well, sure, dual booting isn't for everyone, but for many, it's a necessity. Whether it's because you need specific software, games, or because your job or school requires Windows, dual booting can be a lifesaver. Personally, I dual boot because I occasionally need Windows for testing Linux-related tools like WSL or open source projects that get ported over to Windows. Plus, my laptop came with Windows pre-installed, so I figure I might as well use it from time to time. So, if you've been hit by this issue, don't panic. Check out the workaround Microsoft provided, and hopefully you'll be back up and running in no time. And if you haven't installed the update yet, maybe hold off until Microsoft gets their act together. Have you been affected by this Windows update? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences and how you're dealing with it. All right, that's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Linux and tech-related content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.